Andy's Fishing and Wild Cook. G'day everyone, you're watching Andy's Fishing and Wild Cook. Today we're on a coastal foraging expedition. I challenged myself to collect all the food for my dinner in the next eight hours. It's nine in the morning. I'm gonna start in a mangrove forest first and then maybe some mud flats and maybe even some sandy beaches or something like that. We'll, we'll see where we end up. It's a new area. I haven't foraged there before. I do have some uh, equipment here, backup plans if, if I need them. At first, we're gonna start with a spear and a knife and we're gonna head into the mangrove forest to see what we can find. So this is what we're going into. Got no idea what we're gonna find. Never been in here before and it's looking rather thick. I can see some open mud over that way, so hopefully we can find find some crab holes. Okay, we're in. Now, this here looks to be like the high tide zone. All the lighter stuff is washed up here. We've got foam there and all this really light timber. So we'll go through a few different zones here, I'm pretty sure. Always keeping an eye out for edible things. It's actually not too bad going right here. But I'm sure it'll get worse. Here's a cool crab in a hole. He's um, a bit small for us, and I don't think I've ever seen one like it. But I'll see if I can get a shot of him for you. Look at that, there he is hiding in his hole. He's actually, yeah, really quite safe in there. Mosquitoes are quite terrible in here, but I think I found my first edible thing for the day. Look at this, he's quite hidden. Ah. It's a nice mangrove snail. We'll keep him. Here's something else. It's all right through everything. Let's see if I can grab it. Oh, I'm gonna say, yeah, it's probably a seed off a tree. Like a mangrove or something. I'm not gonna eat that. That's definitely a seed. Most likely very toxic, that. So, yeah, unless you're sure, don't eat it. We've got our second snail. Here we go. Two snails, perfect. Now the going's hard in here, not only do I have to climb through all this stuff with old broken timber but each step I put in the mud I go down to at least a foot in um, it's probably going to get worse the further I get closer to the water but we need to go through the different zones and uh, yeah, see where the food is I'm now down near the salt water, the, the river itself and I'm gonna to have to watch out for crocodiles. This river is full of big crocodiles. It is summer, so they're usually in the water during the day because it's too hot for them. But in here, it's nice and shady. So yeah, I'll keep an eye out. Hopefully I don't get too close. Oops, I've just found another snail. Let's have a look at this. I'm now sinking way further into the mud. I'm almost halfway up my shin. And I'm walking on the timber just to avoid that. But check this out, we've got more snails all along this timber. Very cool. And now it's too hard to walk on the ground because there's just too much of this root system. But we get to find more of the snails. Ah. They're actually just everywhere. There's a really fat one there. We'll get that as well. I think what we'll make with those is escargot. Never made it. Gonna try it. I've been in the mangroves for about two hours now. Mosquitoes are insane. I haven't found any mud crab holes. No sign of mud crabs, so I think we might change location. I'll jump in the car, drive to a new spot, and yeah, see what we can find there. Traveled oh, probably over a K, maybe a K and a half through that stuff, and there wasn't one spot that looked like it had uh, mud crabs in it recently. So, yeah, after two hours, it's time to give up and try something else. Went out the next spot, I pulled out my next bit of kit, which is a cast net it's in that bucket there. I'm hoping for some prawns along here. I have got them here before, so yeah, fingers crossed, we'll get a few. Okay, this looks good. We've actually got a bit of water running out here. And we should be able to get some prawns right in these drains here. That's my plan anyway. And I've got to watch out because there are definitely crocs in here.
Looks like we got nothing. How's that? It's a bit disappointing. Yeah, there's a couple of little ones jumping out there, but nothing major. Let's have a look. A little tiny one there. Oh wait, they've got two just here. Oh, they're small, but we'll take them. Check this guy out. We've got a little salt. That's a salt there. See if I can wash him for you. There he is. Cool little guy. Eh? Off you go, little buddy. There you go. What have we got here? We've got something else. Another soul. Oh, there he is. Hey, off you go, buddy. I was just walking over this next drain, and this looks like a long bum. Yep, he's alive. Oh, score. These are, yeah, quite nice and quite big. After we um, go in here, we'll see if we can find a couple more of these. That's, that's a cool find. Oh. Son of a I just lost my cast net on something. Oh. I'm not getting that off. I'll have to come back with the boat. That really puts a damper in the day. Well, that was the last thing I wanted. There must be a rock or a, a tree down there that I got really stuck on, so I'll get the bow another day and uh, get that cast net out of the water. These mangroves are a lot more open with a few mud puddles lying around. And yep, there we go. A couple of long bums there. Hopefully they're alive. Yep, that one's alive. That one, alive. Oh, there's another one, look at that. Yep, he's alive. Any more just here? Usually they all, um, they sort of sit in a similar sort of area. No, I can't see anymore. We'll keep going a little bit. Oh, hang on, there's one. Did you guys see that before? Yep, definitely a long bum. Look at that. We've got five long bums. That's probably enough long bums now. Let's see what else we can find. What we have here is rocks covered in oysters. Um, they're all pretty small if you have a look that's that's one there one there one there one there they're all very very small so i'm not going to worry about them there might be something under the rock though right okay back to the car we'll go up another little creek and see if there's anything else interesting we can find actually before we go there let's see if there's some vegetables lying around here what i'm looking for likes wet areas and this is a tiny bit of a creek here there it is it's not hard to find ah if you watch my videos before you'll know that i love this stuff it's like eating green beans just take a few just from here and there so i can regenerate so the reason we're making this video today is i like exploring but the electric motor on my boat has actually died it's not the remote control like i said in last episode uh, I've ordered a whole new control board and hopefully that'll fix it, but it's blowing 15 to 20 knots out in the ocean and with our electric motor to keep me in one position for more than a couple of minutes it's uh, a little bit useless going fishing out okay, there. Okay, this isn't starting out too well. Oh, I just jumped out of the car and it looks like I've got to do some bush bashing just to get to the mangroves. Let's go through here. Oh. <coughs> We're at a totally different spot in the river system. And oh look at that nice big hole there. And I'm hoping that there's different critters here. Um, the height of this bank is well above where the tide usually comes up. And this is all quite dry and not much going on. The only thing that is going on is the number of mosquitoes in here. So I'm gonna head back home. Oh. Get away from these mosquitoes and uh, yeah, cook up the food that I've got today. God, they're terrible, look at them all. Oh, see you back there. Well, we're back in the bush kitchen. I've just changed a shirt, no mosquitoes around here. And the sun's just about to set, so we're gonna cook up a three-course foraged meal. <laughs> I've already got some water on the boil. 
and the first thing we're going to do is throw our prawns into that. And what we'll do is we'll microplane some garlic. I prefer doing a microplane to a garlic press because they're much easier to clean. And they don't take that much longer. We'll drop that garlic into a little drifter bowl, then add a nice dollop of butter. We want quite a bit of butter in here because we're going to cook the snails in that, the mangrove snails. The prawns are ready and we'll just drain them. While the prawns cool down, we'll put the butter and the garlic on the heat. We've got that butter on a slight simmer and we're going to chuck in our snails. They'll take about three minutes to cook. And we just want to stir that every now and then. While that's happening, we'll use some parsley. A lot of people use spring onions for this, but I like the flavour of parsley. Just chop up a bit of that. Nice and fine. might have to change my name to speed cook because the last few cooks have been so fast and this is no different. Get some vegetable stock. Now we don't have to fill the pot too full, maybe oh, a cup and a half. It's about trying to come out of his shell. So yeah, there's quite a lot of meat in those. And we'll just pop those in the stock. Just like so. Now the snails are ready and we'll crank up the heat for long bums. Pop the lid on that, and they'll probably take the longest. So we'll go back to the first thing, the prawns, and finish them off. Into the snails, we'll dump the parsley. Probably enough. Oh, 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 that smells pretty good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> For the prawns, I've got some shapes. Normally it's Jats crackers, but I didn't have any of those, so we'll just use three of them. On each one of those, we'll put a little dollop of sour cream. A tiny bit of sweet chilli sauce. I'm going a little bit over there. Then to finish those off, we'll place our prawns right in the centre. There we go. That's the first course ready. Just check on those long bums quickly, have a look. Ooh, there you go, pretty good. Not too much salt because we've got our greens. This is pig face and it's really like salty green beans. We'll whack that in there. I'm pretty sure you can find this stuff everywhere around Australia and overseas even. They'll only take another maybe minute or two and we'll be done. Good thing with a bush kitchen is I can clean all my stuff while I'm cooking. Anyway, these are ready now I think. Get them off the heat. Long bum soup with pig face. <laughs> now the hardest part is getting the muscle out of the long bum. I've just got a nice rock, I've given a little wash and we're gonna just whack it like a caveman. Pretty good, the first one's half out, there we go. May have to do this in stages, there we go. Let's see if we can get the fork in there. There we go. So that's the whole animal. That bit will eat. If you ever try these, this green part around the outside, that's their poo shoot and you want it just pull that off. There we go. And that's ready to eat. I'll finish the rest of these off camera because it will take a little while. And they're quite hard. Here we have our three course meal. Prawn appetizers. Looking quite spicy. Then we've got our mangrove snail escargot. And the long bums with pig face. <laughs> Let's try the most mainstream one first, the prawn, sour cream, chilli. Mm. There's so much flavour there, flat out taste in the prawn, <laughs> they were quite small. Mm. Oh, I've got to have another one of those, they are good. Mm. Yeah, everything works on there really well, like I said, a bit hard to taste the prawn.
Okay, it's time to try the escargot. It's getting a bit late. I had to get a nail because these guys are so hard to, to get out. Put it um, in the muscle there, like so, and spin it round. Oh, 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 little snail. Mm. Oh. Mm. With that garlic sauce. They're just great. Now because we're running out of light, I'll finish those off later. But I've got to try the long bums with the pig face. Mmm. Let's see. We'll get one of the, the big ones. Look at that. That's the biggest one I could find. Ooh. Not nearly as flavorful as the prawn and the cracker with all the spices. It doesn't have that intense flavor of the um, escargot with the garlic. But if you're out there and you find the long bums and you want some protein, these are the things to go for. Mm. Mm, look at that. Just a big lump of muscle. Mm. Let's try some of these little pig face beans. Yeah, this is the body of the meal. The snails are the delicious part of the meal, and the prawn crackers are just a treat. Mm. Mm. Hope you enjoyed this episode. I'll catch you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please subscribe and click the notification bell so you get notified of my new videos. I do them every week. I'd also like to say a big thank you to my Patreon supporters and people who've donated through PayPal. If you want to see more right now, click the, uh, the links above. Catch you next time.